welcome back to another spooky story time, but not a spooky story at all. This one is about a witch, but it's not a spooky witch. This is a story about friendship and teamwork, and it's one of my favorite stories for the season of Halloween. The title of this book is Room on the Broom, and it is written by Julia Donaldson, and it is illustrated by Axel Scheffler. Room on the Broom. Let's see if you can hear the rhyming words in this story. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black, and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred, and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed, and how the cat spat. When the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled her hat firmly back onto her head. I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch. And the dog clambered on, and the witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy winds blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, an ear, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. She then said, as the witch tied the braid in her bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back and beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy. The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into the bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and you, witch, look like a good supper to me. No, cried the witch, 
flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help! cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon flew near and started to drool. He said, I won't let you go. Do you think I'm a fool? Just as he planned to begin his feast, out from a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads, and it had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. Oh, I'm sorry, he spluttered. Oh, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and the down jumped the frog, and down climbed the cat, and phew, went the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, and the cat found a cone, and the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. And they threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well, and while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose. A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog and a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on with a tap of the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. is the end of the story. What a happy ending, wasn't that? How creative those characters were to rescue their friend who was in trouble with the dragon. I just love how kind the witch was by always accepting all the little animal friends that wanted to ride on her broom. And to pay her back, they came and rescued her. What a fabulous story. Thanks for sharing it with me. I really enjoy reading to you. Can't wait to see you again next time.